Will a motorcyclist hate going on an adventure with a camper van? Let's find out. This is my new car. It's a Ford Transit Connect. It's a 2018 model with a little bit under 30,000 kilometers ridden. It has a whooping 100 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine. Sorry, Greta. How dare you! And an automatic transmission. And it goes from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 10.5 seconds. So you can see, it's quite a beast. Normally, you will see me riding around with my motorcycle, camping and enjoying the many aspects of adventure or adventuring. I found a definition of what adventure actually means. Adventure, an event or experience that expands, shifts or alters your perspective or perception of your inner self or the outer world. To put yourself in situations to challenge and interfere then to let go of trying to control the outcome and to wonder at what surprise may show up. You can Google many definitions of what an adventure is. I believe that it's up to ourselves to define what an adventure truly is and accept that it can differ from person to person. You can rest assured I will continue to do adventures on my motorcycle. But the season is short up here and I really need to find out if this is something I will do more of in the future. And I quickly become aware of some of the short backs of traveling in a camper van. Traffic. But it's not all bad. When it pours down outside, it's much more comfortable to sit inside a warm car than it is spending time on my motorcycle. There are some other challenges as well. I'm going to have an open mind. I will continue this trip in my van and see if this is something that I would uh, do more of. Or that this is completely rubbish and I would never touch again.
coffee on the bed. The last week now, I've been spending my time in the car. I brought with me my tent and my hammock, just in case. And uh, But I've tried to sleep in the car as much as possible, because I wanted to get a feel for how I want the bike, nay, how I want the, um, the car to be. It fits me really well. The, the length of the car is just enough that I don't touch with my head or my feet. I need to make a hole in the roof somewhere to let the moisture out. And I need to do something with the diesel heater that is uh, installed on the car and see if I can make an outlet um, through the wall. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. I really like the low key and um, I don't need it to be too flashy or fancy. I just need a simple bed I can take up and down so I can use it for a multi-purpose car as well. Yeah, I'm... Um, really really happy with this so far but i will need to do some upgrades and i know exactly who i'm gonna contact my own reodor felgen in molde hello hey congratulations new car yeah it's uh, amazing, isn't it? Yeah, well, is it amazing? I saw something there at the front. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? That's the exact reason why I'm here. So you want me to fix it? Yes. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> okay. Pull in the car into the garage. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, Okay, it's been eight hours and this looks so much better. Uh, it doesn't look like you've done much, but you spent the whole day with me and... Uh... Yeah, it takes time, but uh, now at least it's much more rigid and uh, these rusty pieces, you can <laughs> deliver them back to the previous owner. Huge thank you, because this is incredible. It's been a pleasure working with you But today. I saw some bolts uh, back in your trunk as well, that maybe we should take a look at. Yeah. Looks good. It's uh, okay to get rid of the rust. Yeah, it's much, much better. And all those small details just makes the car look so much more uh, new or uh, mint in, uh, in a way. Very nice to take care of your belongings. <laughs> but I guess you have other plans than just making it uh, pretty. Inside here, you have your camping gear. Yeah, as you can see, I've already been camping a little bit in the, the car already, just to try it out. But uh, I really want to make a, a bed on the side so I can store equipment underneath. It's a little bit of a trail and er error, I think. I just mm. need to feel it, try it out a couple of times, and then see what I want. I have uh, one idea. Yeah? Until you start uh, the proper... Uh, interior modifications <laughs> yeah. maybe you should have a temporary light could make a light so you can test out yeah that would be awesome do yeah. you have an, uh, do you have something in mind i have a 3d printer and i have some cables and some plugs maybe <laughs> i can see if we can uh, make something okay yeah, yeah that yeah. would be great come, come here yeah. come over here so i've 3d printed some parts got a cable lead strip Gonna glue it down here in the channel, and then let's try to mount it in the gar in, in your car. Yeah. Okay. So you you have this stuff laying around. Of course. Who hasn't? <laughs> who hasn't? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see. I don't understand any of this, but uh, you you have a plan. I trust you. Yeah. You've seen what you did yesterday. So come let's on. let's, let's go. It. Yeah. 
Here is the, the device assembled. And I added a voltmeter there so you can see how much uh, battery you have remaining. Ready for the first test? Let's see how it works. Ooh. Of course, I've added a dimmer. This is a very um, strong and uh, doesn't consume uh, very much power, these uh, LED lights, of course. I continue my trip down south again, and I have to admit, I did not think I would end up enjoying this as much as I did. Doing some much needed work on my car with my friend Hesta sparked something in me. But there is one more thing I would like to do before I'm happy with the outside look of this car. I'm on my way now out to my friends at Informative, a local store right outside Bergen that does uh, wrapping and vinyl wraps for cars, info signs, billboards and whatnot. And I'm gonna ask them if it's possible to make some wrapping for my car and make it look a little bit less like a postman car or a fire truck and more like a camper van. I'm really happy with the end result, putting some uh, wrapping on the side of the car, making it more complete in a way, in my opinion at least. It is safe to say that a motorcyclist does not hate an adventure in a camper van. I absolutely love this week on four wheels and to now have the option to combine all my passions together all year round, well, that is something that puts a huge smile on my face. There are so many new options that's open up and uh, makes it possible for me to spend much more time on the road, even in winter time. One thing is certain, I will do much more adventures in my camper van in the future.